Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back. So for today's video, we are going to be focusing on My Little Pony, which is very fun for me. I don't do these videos nearly as often as I do doll videos because like, this is a doll channel, so that does make sense. So it's really, really fun for me when I get to focus on the ponies for a little bit. And today we're doing a tiny little pony haul. It's not like a ton, but it's not like two either. You know, I feel like it's just enough to justify making a video. And some of these I've had for a while and I just was like tired of waiting. I really, really wanted to be able to make a video on them. So that is what we're going to be doing today. If you guys do find yourself enjoying, if you could give the video a like, very helpful for me. If you're new here and you enjoy your time, definitely subscribe so you can see more. And then I always have a bunch of links and stuff in my description if you guys want to go out of your way and support me in other ways. But yes, we are going to be looking at the ponies today. So um, I am going to be doing like a closer up view after I kind of introduce them all but I want to show you just really quick here the first one we have is a gen 1 reproduction which is like my first gen 1 style pony which is very exciting so this is Posey I just think she's so cute obviously you're gonna be able to see her better when she's like not in the box because I am gonna be unboxing her but I saved her like in the box so that I could unbox her for this video and I'm just so excited about her. On the back you can see some of the other reproduction ponies that they made. I don't know how long ago these were technically like put onto shelves because I'm brand new to the pony game. This is new for me. <laughs> I found this one at Meyer just randomly. So very, very excited about her. And then, ooh, I'm trying to figure out what order to go in. I guess I'll do these two. So these next two were actually a gift from one of you guys. I don't know if the person wants me to say their name, so I won't be saying it, but you know who you are and I appreciate you very, very much. I'm so excited about these. So this first one, a Gen 3 pony. I believe this is Bumble Sweet. I like know and then I doubt myself, but I'm almost certain this is Bumble Sweet. And they're so cute, the yellow and the orange, absolutely adorable, and like the bees. You'll see closer up in a moment here, but very grateful for that one. And then this one is Butterscotch, who is also a Gen 1 reproduction pony, kind of in the same style as Posey over here. Um, only, you know, no box, but you can still see like some packaging on the hair. She looks so nice. There's like little butterflies for her cutie mark. I'm so grateful to the person who sent me these two. It's very cute. I love that you sent me both like yellowy orange ponies. It's absolutely precious. And then I have Meadowbrook. I think that's the right one. Sometimes the names are really hard. Like I'm just bad at names in general when it comes to dolls and doll stuff. Um, and the pony names are especially difficult for me. So I'm sorry if I get any of these wrong, but I believe this is Meadowbrook. She's absolutely adorable. I love the colors on her. I'm also just realizing that every pony up here so far is either yellow or orange. We will change that in a second here, <laughs> but I think her cutie mark is absolutely adorable. And then the last one to show off today is maybe my favorite definitely my favorite that i've bought but like these two are definitely going to have more sentimental value because of their gifts so it's hard to say but we have rarity from g3 her rainbows of hair it's very long obviously it does need like a wash and a treatment but she's so pretty and she's the one that I've had the longest. So I'm very, very excited to finally be able to like show her off today. So yeah, these are the ponies that we're going to be taking a look at. I am going to unbox this one, get a little bit of packaging off of this one, and then we will reconvene to look at them more up close. I know that like with ponies, it's not quite the same as unboxing dolls because it's not like here's all the accessories, at least not for me, because I just have the ponies. I don't really have any accessories or anything. So I know that it's less of an unboxing experience, but I still want to get them like prepared and show them off much more closely for you guys. So hopefully you're into that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera really quick. And then I will come back to be with you guys to actually look at them more in depth. So I will see y'all in a second. Okay, I did the little bit of unboxing that I needed to do, and we are going to go in the same order that I like showed off these ponies in the intro here. So Posey, the one that was in box, uh, did come with this little poster, just showing like the same thing that was on the back of the box, the other ponies that have been reproduced from the same line. The Gen 1 art style is so cute though. Look at them. Adorable. Um, she also came with this little brush, and like, do I have tons of brushes for dolls? Yes, but like, this is my only pony brush, so that's pretty cool to have. And then Posey herself, you can see better. Her darling little, I believe these are tulips for her cutie mark. They're just so cute. I like the pose that she's in where she's like trotting along. I said this in one of my previous pony videos that I haven't like gotten enough or like been in the community, I guess, long enough to really have a pose preference. 
um not like at least a strong one but i do think that this one is quite cute where she's just trotting along having a grand old time love the color scheme y'all already know i love the yellow her beautiful green eyes and then the pink hair the tail is like curled because it was wrapped around her leg it's a little messy but it's quite cute and she has a tail bow which like i didn't think i would feel as strongly about as i do I don't know, because a lot of the Gen 1 ponies that I've looked at online are like secondhand ones. And so a lot of them don't have the tail ribbon anymore because like, unless it's a reproduction where it's newer, this is definitely the kind of thing that could get lost over time. So maybe it was just that I had resigned myself to not being able to have a lot of the tail ribbons, but it looks so cute on her. Like she's all fancy. She's ready to go. The head does turn on the reproductions, but like... It, it can look a little uncanny. <laughs> I just think she's so pretty and precious. I do think I'm still going to end up washing her hair just to make the tail behave a little bit better. And there's a tiny bit of gel in the mane. But she's so cute. She's going to look fabulous. She already looks fabulous, but like she's going to look even more fabulous. And then I think the next up was Bumble Sweet here, who is like in a fixed pose very sassy. I feel like a lot of the G3 ponies were quite sassy. Like I said this when I made my first video, I think, on My Little Pony. Either that or in one of the wishlist videos. I can't remember at this point. <laughs> but the sass is so fun. And you can get a better look at her cutie mark here with the bees and the honey. That is just so so cute. I do love that the Gen 3 ponies have like the shimmer to their skin in a lot of them. It's just so nice like it's so pretty her eyes have some beautiful colors in there too and of course the orange mane is absolutely stunning i love the tinsel i say this all the time because i know tons of people hate tinsel at least in like the doll community not sure how the pony community feels about it but i really like it i think it i just i just like sparkle so i feel like it adds a lot to it look she's such a cutie uh i think you know, obviously Posey's going to look good once I wash her, but especially the um, like G3 ponies, once you wash them, it's just such a different experience. And it's so soothing to me. I love it. I'm very excited. Like her hair feels honestly very clean. It's not like it's dirty. I think the person who um, sent them to me probably had cleaned this hair or they had received it with clean hair. I'm not 100% sure. So it feels clean, but just like from being packaged, I think I would want to wash it just just a little bit because I'm particular. So beautiful though. Like I'm so grateful. I'm so excited. And then the next one up is Butterscotch here who also still has the tail ribbon. So cute. The hair is so, so soft and so nice. Again, a little bit of gel in the main, but that's okay. We can fix that. And the, the little butterflies, how can I resist the butterflies? They're so cute. I'm so, I'm so grateful for the person who sent me these two ponies. They're so precious. I love that they kind of go together. They're probably going to have to sit next to each other on my shelf. I'm running out of room. I'm going to have to reorganize again here soon, but I feel like they're going to have to go together and be like cross-generational sisters. Oh, so precious. I like, I don't know what to say necessarily. I feel like, as I said, there's less to talk about um, with ponies, at least for me, just because I don't know everything I could talk about. <laughs> but they're so precious. Look at this face mold too. I like this face mold a lot. She just looks wholesome and safe and wonderful. And then continuing on with the yellow ponies, there's really a theme for this video <laughs> is Meadowbrook again with the sass same pose that's why <laughs> i just realized that i didn't even realize that until just now but it's so sassy and it's so funny to me the shimmer to the skin and so her cutie mark is like this cute little flower with a dragonfly and i just think it's really precious i don't know what it is it's just it's so cute to me and then her mane and tail are like slightly different colors they're slightly different fiber mixes so this one is kind of more of a blue green there's like hints of actual green in there so it gives it more of a teal effect and then this one has blue and purple and i think it's really fun because it kind of makes it look like she's got a gradient that goes from her head down to her tail i just feel like it's super super nice so love her and then we come to the one who finally breaks the yellow mold we have a mostly pink pony this time rarity so rarity does have a head who moves 
and she has this really cool little stripe of glitter down her like nose that is so nice i love how it reflects the light like it's so pretty her body is slightly more matte than like meadowbrook here still has a, a tinge of shimmer but it's a little more matte she makes up for it with the glitter on here and she's a unicorn which is super cute and fun and she's the first one that i own that is a unicorn so that's exciting and look at the hair <laughs> she's another one that has the extra extra long hair which i am obsessed with it looked so cute on daffodaisy i love getting to see her on my shelf and i feel like rarity has the same vibes has the tinsel this is going to be amazing after it's washed and again it's kind of similar to meadowbrook in the way that like the gradient continues from the head to the tail so she's got all of her warm tone colors in her mane and then the cool tone colors in the tail and it's amazing and there's tinsel and her cutie mark also has a layer of glitter that's like been put over it so she's got a heart with a little rainbow trail and shimmer and she's just amazing i love these all so much i need to get them lined up for you for the outro here they're just so cute so i i feel like this maybe was a bit of a shorter one which is not my intention um i don't know pony videos just kind of go quickly for me sometimes but i couldn't wait any longer like i had to show these off they're so cute look at them Ah, I'm so obsessed. I'm gonna tilt this down a little so you can see even better. They're so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with these. I love ponies so much. I still can't believe it took me so long to get into them, but I'm here now and that's what matters. <laughs> so very exciting video for me. I am going to wash them all after filming and then I'll be posting the results on my Instagram. So like you don't have to follow me or anything, but if you want to see how the hair turns out, definitely check over there. Um, just because I, I don't know, I really like washing the pony hair. I feel like it's very cathartic, but when I film the process, immediately less like calming and it's more stressful because it's like oh i have to make sure i get the shot and everything um so i don't like to make the videos filming me washing any hair like doll hair or pony hair but i always post results on the instagram so that if you guys want to see how they look afterwards you have the opportunity to do that but yeah that's gonna be it for the video today guys i hope you were able to enjoy let me know which out of these is your favorite pony down in the comments down below and like just let me know what you think of all of them i'm super super excited with these but yeah i hope y'all have a lovely rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be and i will catch you in the next one bye guys <laughs>